I was knocked down, heard the countdown through the haze in the face of defeat, yeah. I was ruled out with no bail out on my own, all alone, left to bleed out. But I rose up from the ground, just like I was spell bound, all the odds were. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm so happy you decided to stop by today. Will and I are moving everything out of our apartment and into our first home. We're so excited. We've been cleaning and packing and organizing both the apartment and the new house and so that's what you're going to see in today's video. So go ahead and grab you a cup of coffee and enjoy this chaos or you can set your phone down in whatever space that you're trying to tackle today and we can clean together. This entire process was way more work than I could have ever imagined. Things came out of the woodwork and when you're moving, I always seem to forget that happens. But today we are tackling all of the things. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up for me. And if you're not already, make sure to hit that little red subscribe button below and click the bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. It's totally free. And I'm starting the living room today of our apartment. This was the easiest, so I figured it might make me feel accomplished to have that done, a whole room finished, and then we can start on the other stuff. And this was the room with the least amount of stuff. So where better to start than here? I decided to grab this huge basket and throw all of my fall decor in it so that way when we get to the new house I wasn't searching high and low for it. And if you follow me on Instagram then you know I wasn't able to find clothes, dishes, towels, but for God's sake I found those fall candles and that is what is important, right? So oh, also by the way if you don't follow me on Instagram I will leave my handle here on the screen. I'm bad about posting on my feed but I'm constantly posting my stories throughout the day so you can keep up with me there and I would also love to follow you back. This is my favorite way to keep up with all of y'all. Will and I have lots of fun projects coming up in our new house, so stay tuned until the end to hear all about our plans. But right now we're living in amongst a pure chaos, so we're just trying to survive at this time, but we do not have near enough furniture to fill up our house yet, so I'm thinking about just taking it room by room and completing one full room at a time. I feel like this is the easiest and least stressful way to get it all done. When I look at the big picture, I can get super overwhelmed because there's just so much to do. But I'm also really excited to be right in the middle of it all. It's such a fun time and I want to soak up every minute of it. But we do not have near enough furniture for our living room. So I think that'll be the first room that we focus on aside from the master bedroom. Because as y'all saw, we just did a huge makeover on our master bedroom. So I have all of the furniture that I love for that. But we do need an extra chest of drawers and then a little media chest. And I want to get a fluffy chair to put in our master bedroom now that we have a bigger area and then also some wall art and some pictures. So hopefully we can get all of that done pretty soon. But as far as the master bedroom goes, we have that mostly figured out. So I'm really gonna be working on the living room and spending all of my time and energy on that for a while. We have the couches that we love, but we wanna put some new paint on the walls and things like that. So we have lots of plans coming up. We're gonna tell you all about it towards the end of this video. look out next week for my fall front porch makeover our new little front porch is so stinking adorable we're obsessed and our house is facing towards the sunset so every night we run out to the front porch and we watch the sun go down and here recently every single night it is absolutely gorgeous pink purple blue and it has us feeling so blessed and I cannot wait to get a cute little bench out there with mums and pumpkins it's just gonna be the cherry on top so make sure you have your bell notifications on so you don't miss that one next week let it rush when I see you dance And the moment comes when I fall And time goes slow 
tried to clean as I packed and that way the cleaning didn't feel overwhelming at the end. And I also didn't want to pack dusty items, so we're getting that all taken care of now rather than later. I am still just as obsessed with my Dyson as I was when I first bought it. This thing is so handy. You just take off the foot of it and you can use it to get in corners and crevices. And here I'm cleaning all of the spots that I probably didn't hit the entire time I lived here. And if I did, maybe it was just one time. But I'm getting behind the TV stand and all the crevices and cracks by the door and getting that all cleaned up. Okay, this is bittersweet, but here we are. I've packed up the whole entire living room and vacuumed up the floors. I vacuumed up behind the couches. Everything is ready to go. I'm gonna take some of those decorations over tonight in my car because I don't want them misplaced or ruined. So I'm probably gonna take that little green tree with me in my trunk. And now we are moving on to this disaster of a kitchen. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pack up all of the dishes and everything, except for these few things that I left out. I left us two bowls, some silverware, two fry pans, and two plates, just in case we need to cook or something tonight or tomorrow. We probably won't, but here we are. Let's get started on the kitchen. Here in the kitchen, I'm just wrapping up all of the fragile dishes. I'm packing away all the appliances and utensils. And I think the thing that hit me the hardest when packing everything up was taking that fall wreath off of our kitchen mirror that was the one item that always made this apartment feel like home and I loved changing it out for all the different seasons and a part of me is actually really going to miss this apartment. During the whole moving process I learned that I could not be as organized as I wanted to be just because Things come out of nowhere when you're moving. You have junk that you didn't know you had. And so what I started doing was just labeling the box with the name of the room and then just throwing whatever I wanted to in there as long as it belonged in that room. I had to stop being so picky about what I put in each box because it just got overwhelming. And here in just a second, you're gonna see me clear off this kitchen countertop. And we just had loads of just junk and doodads that had collected here. And so I'm just trying to go through it and organize everything, but also not trying to be too picky about where I put it, which box I put it in. I just throw it in and tape it up and put that sucker in the U-Haul truck and take it to the new house because either way, it's gonna get there and it's gonna be safe as long as it's wrapped. I'm just gonna snap our laundry room into a box and we are headed to the new house. Okay, before I got started, I wanted to show y'all the mess that is our house right now. When our family helped us move in yesterday, it did not look like this. They helped us organize the boxes and stuff, but since then, Will and I have been scrambling to find stuff and this is the result of it. So we have lots of work on our hands today. The laundry room was a huge mess. We put a ton of boxes in here yesterday, but luckily Will woke up early this morning and got that taken care of, so that's not such a big deal now. Our living room does not have much yet and I'm noticing that the wall color in the couches are not gonna work. Eventually we're gonna paint all of these walls white and I wanna get a white backsplash for our kitchen to match our white countertops. And then these cabinets are actually a cream color and I'm gonna end up painting those white to match everything. So everything will be nice and white and open and then that way we'll have a clean slate to decorate how we want to. And I think it would be really fun to install an electric fireplace right there on that wall and then maybe build a mantle around it and put our TV up there. But we'll see what happens with that. And then this wall over here that connects to the kitchen, I think that would be really pretty with some shiplap. So I'm trying to talk Will into helping me shiplap that wall eventually, as well as the underneath of our little bar top there. So we'll see what happens with that. I hope we can do some shiplap there. And then Walking back into the hallway here, this little room right here is the room that I said I wanted to make my office. And then Crystal Renee here on YouTube <laughs> suggested that I make it my cloth and I thought that was a genius idea, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my desk in here and my printer and all of the fun office-y stuff. We still have to install our blinds in all of the rooms too, except Will did do our master bedroom blinds. But um, as far as this room goes, I wanna put a desk in here and then I'm gonna make this a really nice color coordinated closet and get that all organized. My mom's so cute. She came in here yesterday and organized all this for me because she hurt her rib and could not help us unload the moving truck. So she was in here working. Okay, now headed back out here. This room next to this one is gonna be Will's office for now. We don't have any kids, so we're just making the best use we can of these rooms. 
So this is going to be his office slash we're going to try to put some workout equipment in here. Oh, there's somebody driving by. Okay, back to what I was saying. Our builder was driving by and I didn't want him to see me filming. So I got all of our, or all of Will's stuff there for his office. And then we are going to put like a treadmill or a bike in here at some point. Because now we don't have a workout room that we can access like we did at the apartment. And then this closet here, I'm trying to figure out how to make good use of it. Looks like right now they put some boxes in there. But if you have any ideas for this closet, let me know. I'm sure we'll find some kind of junk to put in there. And then heading back out here, we've got our guest bathroom. And this will probably be, probably be the last thing that I conquer because we don't really have guests a whole lot. But we do need to get a clear shower curtain there and clean in here. So that's kind of what I have on the docket for today. I do want to clean these floors because they have not been cleaned since we bought the house. So we have a ton of stuff to do. Let's get started. around me I've been putting on my fake smile even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way gonna let the past burn down cause honestly don't want to be stuck in more conversations with you with you I'm gonna leave it all behind find myself I'm gonna start with you Yeah I'm on my way now
All right, I've done as much as I wanted to get done with the master bedroom today, but I did want to share with y'all that I want to get a white textured rug to put under our bed, and then obviously all of these walls will be lighter colors, hopefully some sort of a soft white color. And then I told y'all a long time ago that I was going to replace this dresser with a white one, but I went ahead and canceled my order on that because we knew we were going to move at that point, and we did not want to buy any furniture that we knew would not go with our new house. So going to get a new white dresser to go there and then on this wall we're going to have that tv mounted and then i also want to get some sort of a chest to go underneath it and then i have one blank wall over here do not mind my messy kitchen out there i haven't got to that yet and then for this wall i want to put some sort of a chair and then hang our wedding photo above it so that's my plan so far but i think this room will look a lot cozier once we get the walls white and then a little rug for underneath the bed but I'm loving how it's looking I love that we have a much bigger space for our bedroom now okay so I went ahead and got everything off the counters in the kitchen so I can clean there's nothing in the cabinet so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe out all of the cabinets and get them ready to load up and I went ahead and put all of our kitchen boxes lined up against the wall all the way and that way they're easily accessible and they're right here near the cabinets to load. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and clean all of this up and then I will get back with you. As y'all already know, I'm just using Mrs. Meyer's Apple Cider Multi-Surface Spray to wipe down all of the countertops and make this new house smell like fall. And then I'm also going to give the countertops a couple of fall touches. Just got up, something's wrong. I waited up, wounds on my feet. Where will you be? Flickering. Eventually, I would love to do a coffee bar on the wall that separates the kitchen from the laundry room, but until then, I went ahead and put my Keurig there, but most of the time, I'm going to try to keep these countertops almost all the way clear so that you can see how beautiful they are, and they're just easy to clean up. I love the minimal look in the kitchen, but for right now, I'm just kind of finding a place for everything so that we can get all of these boxes out of our house. so many things that I love about our new kitchen but one of my favorite things about this is the drawers they are so deep and spacious and I'm loving using them for Tupperware because at our old house we used a cabinet for Tupperware and every time you open the door they would all fall out they were never organized and so I'm hoping this helps us stay a lot more organized nothing will be like it was but you will always be
Okay, I think we finally got the kitchen at a manageable state. We got rid of all of these boxes right here and all the way around the corner. They are gone. They're unloaded into all of the cabinets and drawers. So that is a really good feeling. I'm just gonna load up these few things in the dishwasher. These were things that got dirty in the boxes and I didn't wanna put them in the drawers before washing them. So now I'm gonna prep my dishwasher. It still needs some stuff done to it before I can load it. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, now that we have the kitchen completely unpacked and cleaned, I'm just gonna vacuum up these floors with my Dyson, and this was so much fun to vacuum my new floors. It was so much fun to clean up my new sink. I am loving every minute of this. As y'all know, I waited a really long time for a sink like this, and so I am just over the moon about it. But now we are heading into the master bathroom, and this was a totally separate day because I could not get everything done in that day. It was just too much, so. Here we are unloading boxes, we are cleaning. I'm giving this bathroom a deep clean because I didn't have a chance to do that before we moved in. So I'm cleaning the sink, the mirror, the lighting, the tub, the toilet, the shower, the floors, the whole nine yards. And I am not gonna get all of the boxes unpacked in here today. One, because I didn't have enough time. And two, because we are thinking about painting everything and I don't wanna get everything unpacked and organized and then have to pull it all back out to paint. So. I'm kind of waiting on that, but we are definitely gonna give this bathroom a good deep clean.
That is what my heart says. That's what my heart says. I want to be with you always. You are my world in every place. It's the things I do. up in here by mixing some pine salt with hot water to mop these floors. Getting all moved in has definitely been a process, but it's so much fun to clean and decorate a new space. Stay tuned for all of the fun upcoming new house videos. We have so much that we want to share with y'all, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see y'all next week in a brand new video. Bye! We used to dance our way to church on Sundays. Mama set the pace.